Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. Welcome to perhaps the only episode we don't know of Resident Evil 1 for the Saturn. The actual, not Biohazard, Resident Evil PAL version. David and I broke all the limbs trying to get this. And it kind of works, um, kind of, meaning that it might freeze at some uh, point, which is okay. What can you do? We still got some work to do on this Saturn. We got it to work, but it's not... Still needs laser change and all that shit. But without further ado... <laughs> without further ado, let's see the controls. Oh god, look at that screen. Oh, that's sexy. Okay, so, Eileen, I'm coming. I hope your back is as <laughs> red as I remember. Phantom Evil. <laughs> Chew. Good to see you there, guys. Hi, Teste. Hi, Gamut. Alright, that's it. I love this. I love this zombie in the background. Like, the <laughs> it's such a simple effect. But I think the PC version I had had that cover. What are you up to, Teste? Look at all crazy. I think it's giving my cat nightmares. She's talking in her sleep. Alright. Let's get in. I'm okay, man. A lot of shit's happening in life, but uh, this is... This is like my... <laughs> this is my event. <laughs> this is where I... Where I get a lot of laughs. Can the cable even reach? I didn't think... Ah, oh, yeah, it can. This is like ancient console. It can reach far. <laughs> I think I could play it all the way in the back of the room, how, how, how long the cable is. Oh, yeah, okay. If we pass this screen, we should be golden. I will save more than, uh, than we're used to, <laughs> me saving in these games. I like beating Resident Evil games without saving, but uh, just because I'm uh, uh, insecure regarding the um, the load times and everything, L just the game freezing, I will save. Hi sis, god damn it, I totally could have played Eternal Darkness, yeah, right? Could have finished it tonight. Damn, well, enjoy Resident Evil 1, what can you do? Tomorrow Eternal Darkness then. We're gonna do the Jill run, because this is the western version. I... Um, <laughs> I uh, last played Biohazard, the Japanese version, which has auto-aim. OGRE1 in the West, no version as far as I'm aware, has uh, auto-aim before Director's Cut. And this is no Director's Cut. <laughs> Damn it, Gamut. <laughs> I could clean my glasses. Can you hear the game? You should be able to hear the game. I can boost the volume a bit more if needed. Bizarre murder cases have recently as long as I don't have echo here. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group Thanks. of ten people. The victims <laughs> were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group. <laughs> you wouldn't, Testy. Come on, brother. <laughs> you wouldn't. Damn, I haven't updated that. Quickly, Sasha, remove the no map. This is R1. I think I can beat... What is it, like five minutes? I can play R1 no map. <laughs> uh, imagine that. Like, imagine like we find my weakness. You buy that. I'm like, I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> What's a door? How do you door an open? <laughs> I should get me one of them alcohol thingies for my glasses. I've been outside. Alright, yeah, I wanted to show this. Okay, look, the actual box and everything. We have. The, so if the disc freezes, we'll read from the manual. The manual is superb. <laughs> I read this shit just before when I was setting up. I was laughing at some of the <laughs> lines. You can see it was made in the 90s. There's no mistake about it. 
<laughs> those would be those would be some punishing moves, guys. <laughs> Maybe I just remove all those before I play some play a game I really like. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's already one. I'm sure I can handle it. Joseph! <laughs> it's in the mouth movement. You gotta do as you say, Joseph. <laughs> I swear to God. It means... Nah, it means just... Don't read the files. <laughs> don't... Don't... Uh, don't dick around just like... It's basically speedrun. My version of speedrun. <laughs> because me and speedrunning a Resident Evil game. <laughs> I think that was made mostly for Outbreak. <laughs> I can hear some thinking sounds. Chris Redfield. <laughs> can't see Chris with a <laughs> can't see Chris with a cigarette when he's blowing a zombie's brains out. <laughs> yeah, best title screen announcer and best intro. <laughs> I know the remake intro is more grounded in reality but man it doesn't come close to this shit resident evil oh that voice it's too sexy for its own good i got water well what's left of it i came home parched i drank like <laughs> two bottles of water already yet What is this? Wow, what a mansion! <laughs> Here we go. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Oh, it's working so far. Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is you can't, you just, I'm sorry about the echo. Here, I'll lower the volume. I can it? see it now. I noticed in the, like in Eternal Darkness, it was quite echoey. Yeah, can you go? Because the sound go. comes through the microphone from the TV as well, partner, and then it you know. okay. just a few milliseconds off. This. It makes this unnatural echo. Stay alert. Look at Barry's shoulders. Two blocks of wood. Did I say blocks of wood? I meant two stumps. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'm overacting. It's looking good. Really, it's looking good. I'm satisfied. It's not an easy feat. It's so weird. A is run and B is action. You serious? Okay, that's it. And you can't you can't run options inside the game like in the Japanese version. What is it? Blood. Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other. Somebody clues. spilled blood Another next to a perfectly good cherry Kool-Aid. Hope this is not Chris's blood. <laughs> RE1 is legendary for its <laughs> for its voice acting. But there's a story behind that. It's just these people were English speaking people who found themselves in um, in Japan at the time when they needed these actors and they just got a got the script and yeah <laughs> they just got the script and they were told read this that's why a lot of stuff doesn't make any sense there's no bad music in this one welcome to stream horse horse Valmont um, that is the dual shock version you're referring to i think in this one there are a few differences it's got the exclusive battle mode that's the biggest one uh, most people talk about um Saren wasn't capable of true transparency so everything that should be transparent is transparency is achieved using dithering which is a technique where every other pixel is not drawn so you know on the old tvs it would look like it was transparent what is it? 
Gold Tyrant, yeah. Dual Tyrants too. Ticks. Ticks are one of the... So there's an enemy that's exclusive to this version. Ticks. Which are kind of between the Chimeras and Hunters. More like Chimeras. They can decapitate you as well. Or was it like the Spine Rip? One of those two. Yes, let's... Let's ask him. Why are we so stiff, Wesker? Why didn't you train us? Look at me. <laughs> Good morning, kitty. It's your time, isn't it? She's like a hungover teenager. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. That is why I call Wesky like that when he gets in. Wesker! He's not here, I'm coming down. Oh yeah, Barry, you don't exist here. <laughs> We're not in the same universe anymore. This is not the remake. I have played the remake too much <laughs> in the past few years. So this is going to be a little tricky dicky. Oh really? This does this have arranged mode? After I beat the game probably. What is this all about? Like the PAL version. You probably played the US version. I don't know. This is the first time I'm playing the PAL version, so I don't know what to expect. Look at those fine <laughs> hand movements. Separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you ah uh, yeah lock yeah take it with you. That's what I that's what I thought. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Considering this is using MIDI, as in like synth samples to play the music, Listen, if something happens, it's pretty. Meet up in this it's almost one to one with the PlayStation version. This time, I'll I think it's that. using MIDI. Yeah, it is. It wouldn't fit the whole soundtrack. Yeah, I know because I actually checked if it has CD tracks. It doesn't. Though it might have the PlayStation tracks. Let me just try to open the door here. Ooga booga. I always thought that's a crocodile. Look at it. It looks like a little red croc. Crocodile from hell. Never mind. We'll ignore that for now. Now in this version, if I remember, in the OG we should have... Yeah. Oh look, you start with a first aid spray. Is that supposed to be like that? I know Comrade Kenneth has some ammo for us. I remember that much. Should I go there now, though? Hey zombie! Welcome to the stream, bro. Good to see you. Uh, fuck it, I'm just gonna go here. Straight to hell. <laughs> I feel the doors are opening slower, but that just could be playing <laughs> too much Outbreak lately. You can never play too much Outbreak, I know, zombie. Nothing unusual. Okay, so the text is the same. They wouldn't change that. This is... A port. I don't know why I expect something to be different. <laughs> I love that animation. 
the way the way she's uh, <laughs> moving up and down the stairs. It's not so bizarre on Chris as it is on her. Oh, here's a good example of the dithering I was talking about. You can see it in this shelf when I move it here. I think it's pretty noticeable in the in the stream. Basically, every other pixel is not drawn, and to our eyes, it just looks like it's transparent. Let's go around this guy. Just ignore me, sir. Keep on sleeping. Well, good start. We started with four ink ribbons. Can't shoot shit, but I can save. Hmm, my master of unlocking skills, they're already paying off. Which cutscene do we want to get? Do we want to... I say, well, let's meet Barry... Let's meet Barry um, in the Kenneth balcony, because... Because that way... How well does he know it? Should be the master of this RE. Oh my, Jill, that aiming takes a while. And no auto-aim, either. Got this is gonna be tricky when we meet the hunters. I think that's, that's like, the, the scariest thing in RE1 is fighting hunters. Ah, uh, it was the other side, wasn't it? <laughs> fighting the hunters. Forest, yeah. Did I say Kenneth? I might have said Kenneth. <laughs> Yeah, do we want to meet him in the forest room? I think so, because, like, crows with no auto-aim. Also, no crows. Always a plus. If there's a, anything under this. No, it's the other one. Man, it's been a while. Okay. Now, Kumrad Jill. There you go. I don't need no auto aim. I can see where the dog is. <laughs> it, somehow it sounds like the gun is farting. Yeah, no auto aim. Mm hmm. <laughs> don't, don't let David hear you. Damn it. Don't let David hear you. He's gonna come here. <laughs> Burn the house down. <laughs> oh, look at me. Look at my beautiful face. Oh, yeah. Another difference from the PlayStation version is Saturn use triangular uh, polygons unlike... <laughs> That's why her face is so messed up. Unlike uh, the PlayStation, well, and other hardware of the of the time that used uh, quad polygons, so things look slightly different to a sharp eye. But it's still pretty smooth, considering it's a PAL version. PAL versions were usually shit. We got the worst of the worst. <laughs> but the mirror works if I'm not mistaken yeah the mirror works which was pretty badass at the time yeah nothing useful it's a toilet it's pretty useful Jill that's so we wouldn't poop on the floor that's that's a plant is it yeah nice bathtub that's in the remake as well well, there's nothing in the bathroom in the original for Jill. Yeah, that's only for Chris. That's right. I remember now. <laughs> Good. No. Ah, god damn it! Wrong button. A is run. B is B is action. I'm pretty sure it was backwards in. <laughs> in Biohazard Saturn. 
And C was options as well, I think. Here you can't start the options in game. I know it was like a combo A and C or Z and X, something like that. There's nothing there before we get. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna check it out. I gotta remember. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing here. This version, aside from the big gun on the wall. Well, this whole room is unusual, Jill. Look at this shit. What is the point of this room? I mean, it's a beautiful room. This would be a good room for streaming. Look at this. You can sit here. You can put your like snacks and laptop here. And then you can put the TV stand here. There you go. Solved. I stole the, the, <laughs> the layout from the first Resident Evil game. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try holding the button before I reach the door. There wasn't a thing before. <laughs> I don't know if you really agree or if you're sarcastic, zombie. <laughs> We can do, yeah, we can do the, the baby puzzle. Bleed out, please. Thank you. Woo! All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the zombie sounds are different, I'm pretty sure. Some of them at least. Now I do want to go... Yeah, <laughs> some of them sound like cows, I swear. I'm not gonna go there yet, okay. Oh, no auto-aim, I forgot! Let's go out and then go go back. <laughs> oh man, she's not gonna turn on her, on her own. At least the game doesn't remember enemy positions. That doesn't come until the remake and Outbreak. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just opening and closing the doors. I wonder if I could just slip by him to get to the crow room, but there's nothing there to pick up, so I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Alright, sir. One, two, three. Yeah, that sound. I remember that. Oh... He's dead, Jim. Right, there's no one here. Yeah, I will be Jill, Jill Sandwich. <laughs> oh, you can't hold a button before the door. Fair enough. Wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't expect it. I was impressed, like, you know, after not playing it for a couple of years, I was impressed that they, zombies lose body parts, actually. It's pretty badass. They thought of that. And we're brave enough. What is this, easy mode? Why do I start with two clips? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna... Oh, you can't, yep, you can't combine them there. Not gonna complain about that, I'm just surprised. Is that it? Then you gotta combine the clip with a clip. <laughs> to get to get the ultimate clip. Thanks, game. Very generous. There's two clips on normal mode, really? Huh. What about if you play advanced? Yeah, that's weird. 
chemical. When Jill ex inspects the chemical and figures out where the zoom button is, it's one of these buttons, I'm sure. Can you zoom in the first game? I'm pretty sure you could. X, Y, Z, it's not. C? Oh, it's C. Herbicide, okay. Oh, it's C and Z are zoom. Cool, and you can use L and R. Oh, this was, this just blew my little tiny baby mind <laughs> the first time. I still can't get used to B being the confirm button, but it is what it is. Can't change it now. What do you mean, zombie? What about Barry? <laughs> what about Barry? Barry's <laughs> exploring the other room, like he said. Just stash it somewhere here. <laughs> okay. Listen here, door. You open now. You guys want to see the Jill sandwich scene? Is it, if that's it, let me know so I don't have to run around for the broken shotgun. Do you want me to go trigger that scene? Get the shotgun now? I don't mind. I mean, I haven't done that in years. I wouldn't mind hearing it. I'm gonna take that as a yes, I guess. <laughs> Fuck the broken shotgun. <laughs> Fro broken sh broken shotgun is for pussies. <laughs> Real RE players become Jill sandwiches. Uh, I should have changed those controls. I was like, why not play with default controls? Look how that, that's going well. It's weird because my finger is in the same position as if I'm playing Outbreak. The Japanese version we play, yet I keep pressing A as confirm. Oh, no hurry, Jill. Just take your time opening the doors. All right, let's become a Jill sandwich. Comrade Berry. Can I still trigger the cutscene on the... Yeah, I can actually, I remember that. Either go back, get the acid rounds from him. That's if I... If I go, I can't remember how it goes in the original now. I think if you go explore the second floor, then you meet him in the... Here we go. Look at the smoke is dithered. I mean the dust. Let me out! No! I like how she look. She's looking at it. She sees it as a threat. She's like, oh shit. Break the door! Hey, what's going on? <laughs> No, let's look at each other for a few more minutes. <laughs> oh, I love this. Man, like, it's like fine wine. It just gets better with, <laughs> with age. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry... Didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? The dining Why room? On earth are you here? Uh, <laughs> I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Uh, B is run, Barry. I mean, A is run. I think he's pressing B as well. <laughs> That's why he's not running. Oh... And that room is dead. We'll never go back there in this game. <laughs> you know what? Thanks, guys. I haven't seen that in years. Whenever somebody, you know, on YouTube <laughs> refers to it, it's always the, you know, 
the Jill sandwich bit, never the, the whole scene. <laughs> fun, <laughs> fun thing. So when I was a kid, I thought he said Jipple sandwich. I didn't know what the word Jipple means. <laughs> I had no idea if it's really a word, but I was like, damn. <laughs> he says, I was almost a Jipple sandwich. I should be careful. <laughs> The way he says it, jail sandwich. Just like, oh my god. Hi, David. Good to see you. I got it to work, bro. Look at that. It's, it's slow. I feel it's loading slower, but it works. Oh, shit. There's Mr. Green over there. Mr. Green. James Sunderland. At least you don't need to be precise. Oh, he's dead, Jim. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? I'll be back, sir. Just give me a minute. If I remember correctly, there should be some herbs there. <laughs> ah, I'm glad you guys are having fun with these sound effects. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Is there health? I know there's going to be zombies later. Yeah, there's just one green. No reds. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm getting used to the controls. Yeah, I need the lighter. Remember that. And that's the helmet door. Good. <laughs> moo. <laughs> Those are Sasha's favorite. <laughs> when he just says moo. <laughs> Sir, this is armor. Yeah. Can I hit him from here? You know what? Yeah. Let him follow me. <laughs> you never know if they're gonna fall down, cause... There goes the arm. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> yeah, she did that to me too. <laughs> the first time she commented that, like, she just said, I was playing a, a Resident Evil Resident Evil 1, and she said, Moo. And I just looked at her. Like, did you just did you just compare zombies to cows? <laughs> now I can't unhear. You're like, what did I say, woman? <laughs> <Speak> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Test is busting out a different alphabet altogether. Nothing here. It's well arranged. Or oh, is our first file we're 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 a police officer. Should know this. Oh, it's got a re. Oh, it's got a load between pages. That's adorable. Botany book has been filed. Wait, nothing here. No, no. no the lighter is. Ah, <laughs> that's in the remake. That's in the remake. There's no lighter here. <laughs> Zombie scow. <laughs> <laughs> Farm evil chew. <laughs> Wait, there's no lighter here, no. But there's still the door, which I don't need. This is just, again, this room makes much more sense when you're playing Chris, doesn't it? Where is the lighter for Jill? Oh, okay, yeah, I remember. I need the armor key. It's all coming back to me now. Imagine this, like, looking at her from third-person perspective. She stands at the door, then she, like, looks at it, and then opens it. M Mr. Moo? How about I try to go around him? Was that gonna pay off? <sighs> Fuck it. Oh, he's dead with three bullets. Okay. Thank you. Also armor. Yeah, everything's armor except... 
the attic is shield. Oh, sir. Uh, uh, How the fuck will I know if you died now? Uh, oh, there we go. He told me. Okay, that's not gonna hit. I mean, it's not precise. Shit. Two wasted bullets. Okay. I think I'll live. Oh my god, he's alive? Jesus Christ, dude. Just stay down. You dead now? Yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Would they do a game? Would they sound like... Yeah, probably. They would just go... Well, just like the zombie elephant and zombie lion. Uh, it, would sound, it would sound like... Bello. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha's on a roll tonight. Yeah, everything's armor. Alright, Barry, you better have those acid rounds or I swear. I need something to kill living things. <laughs> There he is. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our The hall is the most secure place in the game. What there do you mean it's dangerous? Be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really oh, powerful, God. especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? <laughs> I have this. Thank you. Why don't you give me the cold python and I'll give you, like, you keep the rounds. <laughs> nah, I love acid rounds. I have this. <laughs> was that a salute? Because that was a crappy salute, Barry. You can have all the gym in the world you want, but if you're not flexible, the guy can't even make a proper salute. <laughs> I was just saying earlier his <laughs> his like his shoulders and arms are like two logs attached to a bigger log. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they should. I don't know. There's a lot of translation errors. Oh, there's no key here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not Chris. There's a lot of translation errors and they're just so fun. Maybe it's Chris's blood. You know what? I don't remember what the terrace looks like. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't even have that map. Okay. I'm going out <laughs> into a murder of crows. I think I can just nab the bazooka and get the fuck out of here. I love this balcony. Like, if I could have a balcony like this, have a table like this to sip coffee in the summer mornings, Ivy crawling up the... up the... what is it called? Is that the banister or what is it called? Oh god. And just overlooking the forest. Not forest spare dead here but I mean the green forest beyond there it would be very sexy do I get the bazooka wait can I check forest first I can't remember how this works so I'm gonna say no I'm gonna check forest or are they gonna attack me after I check forest fuck it I'll take the bazooka first <laughs> oh, they're not attacking. Only after I check him, right? You know what? I'm gonna do it. Because it's forest, man. We gotta check forest. It's forest. He's been pecked to death by crows. And you misspelled his name. Otherwise... Whee! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Oh, really? I'm interested in that gamut. 
it's the same lady who voiced Regina in Dino Crisis 2 and 1, I think, right? It's I'm pretty sure it's the same lady. Like especially in RE3 when you dress her as Regina. Alfred? <laughs> I mean possible. I, I imagine so. Do we want to go downstairs? No, we want to go through upstairs and get downstairs. That's right. And we gotta <laughs> we're gonna be herding a cow now. Just one cow. Slowly. So that would make sense why... Oh, there's my cow. It, that, that would explain why... Oh shit, there's two of them? Nobody said there would be two of them. Never mind, I'll be back. Um, wait, RE3 original or remake? Because I'm pretty... I'm like 95% sure and that's high in my book, that uh, RE3 Jill and Regina are the same. They sound the same, I swear to God. At least in one of the Dino Crises. Crises? <laughs> What's the plural of crisis? Crises? Yeah. Shoot him in the face, shoot him in the face. One, a two, a three, oh. A three, a four, a five. Please, sir, go down. There's, I can only count to five. He's dead, Jim. All right. Damn. There's two of them in the original. All right, cow. Good cow. Come here. I think he's trying to use learn to use the door. Oh god. This is going to take forever, is it? Huh. I believe you. I'm just all these years I was convinced it's the same woman. Well, thanks for sharing that gamut. If I forget, if I remember those names. Wait. Catherine Disher? Yeah, actually it says in the credits. Of Dino Crises, I beat two multiple times. I think I never beat one, because I only played it as a kid. I didn't have it. I never had had that game, I just played it in the arcades and uh, and I never finished it. Never seen the ending. Look at me carrying. The manual specifically says do not carry three guns. You're wasting half of your inventory. They were probably talking about Chris. Alright. Oh shit. Good thing. All right, seven bullets, seven bullets is all I can spare for you. Well, you know what? I am. Fuck it. Seven should be enough. I'll save the shotgun for later. Ah! Don't get don't don't get too personal with him. <laughs> Rear her up. Get ready, sir. I don't have all day, please, sir. Come on. Oh, there you go. That's four, five. Five was enough. Okay. All right. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> yeah, at some point I will. I will, zombie. That's see, that's the game I forgot. That's that's useful. I gotta put that on the long-term schedule. I didn't even think about it so far. Oh yeah. Honestly, this part of the mansion, beyond that door, I like it more in the original than in the remake. Because in the remake it makes no fucking sh no fucking shit, no fucking sense at all. Nah, sooner. <laughs> sooner than 2035. At least 2034. All right, sirs. Oh, uh, shucks. You know, I know Kenneth has... Fuck, I'm not gonna waste my ammo on you. Oh! Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> yeah, Gamut, I remember you also think it's a better version of uh, RE4. 
Oh, foreshadowing. Kinda. I will want to use the explosive bazooka on some zombies. I remember doing that to save up. So here we go. If I remember this well, and I should. Knife, knife, pistol, ammo, shotgun, ammo, uh, bazooka, ammo, 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 and then magnum, ammo, and then we can go with the, with the, these here. I just find it easier that way to know where everything is so I can quickly come, come back and so knife, pistol, ammo, shotgun, shells, bazooka, ammo, ammo, ammo. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're ready. Well, you know what? Drop the bazooka for now too. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Back. Yes. All right. Yeah, I knew you were there. Can you combine these? Nah, you gotta combine everything in inventory. Well, okay, it was the it was a proof of concept. I didn't mind. I don't mind now. I just got used to you know quality of life improvements. We will read. Some, you know what? Drop this as well. I remember. I'll need my full inventory. If I'm quick, I should be able to just avoid these guys for now. At least until, until I get some ammo. I could shoot them in the face. Also works. Ugh. I should have shot him in the face. Like, I could have avoided that. Why did I think he was on the other side? Sir, sorry. Armor. Yeah. We're about to bust that. I ran straight into his hug. <laughs> I love the blood, the way the blood just sprays in OGR1. <laughs> oh, imagine if you lose that much blood. Okay, sir, you gotta go. If I remember. Which button is for shooting? How about you, sir? You know what? I thought too long. Now I gotta kill you. The fact that you don't even have to aim up is just amazing. I will need it for the Watcher. Yes! Yellow fine. Nice room you got there. Oh yeah, another difference, another very interesting difference for Saturn version. All the files, all the yeah, all the files have their own unique graphics. There wasn't a thing on the PlayStation, so I think you can see it here, right? No, you can't see them here. Where was it? When you pick them up, I guess. There should be something behind. I thought you read it first. Sorry. Well, just the Japanese, but uh, the file model now, on in, it looked different, didn't, didn't it? Yeah, I remember I, uh, I saw that. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the Guard, alias and Steve the Researcher. <laughs> we, <laughs> for some reason, we spelled poker with a capital P. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed, it, feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. 
well it's a cultured monster you can't just eat a pig without cleaning the insides <laughs> may 11th 1998 around five o'clock this morning scott came in and woke me up suddenly he was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit i work for a pharmaceutical company but i don't know what a protection suit is <laughs> he told me to put one on as well i heard there was an accident in the basement lab it's no wonder those researchers never rest even at night may 12 1998 i was wearing no i've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday my skin grows musty and feels very itchy by way of revenge i didn't feed those dogs today now i feel better <laughs> may 13 1998 I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. <laughs> they put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998 still. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. <laughs> May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see, see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave, leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th, 1998. <laughs> I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. Oh, you didn't write in three days. Fever gone. I'm sorry, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. <laughs> itchy, itchy, Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. No, four. Itchy. Tasty. I always wondered about the four part. Is it like May 24th or just he lost the ability to write? Keeper's diary has been filed. Damn. Really? No. Why, why is that just exclusive for Japan? The different book stuff like file graphics that's what i call it graphics why is it different makes no sense who decides that like when they when they uh localize it how does it come to you know someone saying you know what those file graphics they gotta go they're not good get rid of that shit we don't take kindly to file graphics around these parts. Alright, sir. You killed my comrade Kenneth. Sir. Is he there? Oh, what the fuck? He's not even there? Well, that's easy. Yeah, I will. I will do the herbicide and everything. I just wanted to grab the, the clip become a mere shadow of his former self well if you mean by mean shadow a mere shadow you mean <laughs> a decapitated corpse then yeah he has two clips yeah this is like arranged mode i'm pretty sure it's like between arranged and normal because i mean not arranged yeah easy mode training whatever because i shouldn't get two clips i shouldn't start with clips or maybe I just played the PlayStation version too much. Who knows? Can I do the th thing? No, not without the key, right? I can't remember. Shit, I'm gonna check. And then deal with the herbs. Yep. That one. Yeah, the lockpick. So I should be able to do that and grab one key. Or am I missing some? Fuck it! He should be there, right? I was confused, because I know in the remake he will move down the hole. In the OG he will stay up. No matter if Barry kills him, you come back there with Jill, you gotta kill him again. I mean, I played this game so many times, I should know that. Right? Or am I going crazy now? 
Or maybe that's the remake. No one. Shit. <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out. Check. Oh yeah, you can't open it here, right? It just the title says, yeah, I think it's the remake is messing with our with our minds, but who knows? Plus all these different versions. A fine grand piano. Wait, 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 wait. I'm missing a shit. <laughs> a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm missing a thing. Uh I need the um, Yeah, I need the other emblem. So let's do all this and store it into the the umbrella storage solution. And the uh, and the um the gem as well. What if he's here now? What if that's like the Saturn? Surprise. No, nope, he's not here. Yeah, because in the remake he moves to the other room. There it is. I can see you. And I should save. Please, people, remind me to save. I will appreciate it. Because I will not <laughs> I will not remember to do that. Without auto aim and with questionable um, laser efficiency. It's a dangerous game I'm playing without saving. Especially since in this version everything's kind of slow. I mean, the OG. Compared to the remake. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Yeah, when I want to get to the item room. To the save room. If I... If I forget. Oh, come on, you can do it! Oh, gee, every time it stops for a second. My butt clenches. <laughs> because if if it fails to load, it will just stop mid door. Yeah. Where's the shotgun, Jill? Okay. Okay. Love you. Hammer away, Jill. <laughs> The piano sounds different. You can hear it's a synth piano. Oh my god, did that obviously different wall that's not pre-rendered move? Good thing I have a spear. <laughs> welcome, Senpai. Welcome. Good to see you, my brother. Yeah, with the yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll we will if not the. Today, someday, I'm not gonna miss that. People, people know I like to read shit in this channel. <laughs> How are you doing, John? How was your fear stream? Tick tock, tick tock. Man, that grandfather clock sound—it's ingrained in my skull. Look at that. The obviously not. I thought this was Mona Lisa when I was a kid. <laughs> There's no swords in this game. <laughs> yeah, there's no puzzle here, actually. You just put this in. You don't have to do the swords. I guess they didn't service that bell in a while. What do you mean, this? I mean, it could be both. I can imagine it being um, both a man or a woman. Mm. 
Yes, I will. I already got the key to go up there and wreak havoc. Nothing important. Oh look, I can flip it in my hand. Alright. That was quick. Oh really? Nice! Yeah, you can post it in my Discord in uh, video games. I'm sure people will appreciate it. Looks like Rambo. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is the part. Was it Gamut the other day playing this? When I thought, I ah, I know it's gonna jump out, <laughs> not gonna scare me. <laughs> the hunter later, when it's sidesteps, it's the only hunter in the game. I remember doing that. I don't think any hunters in RE3 even do that. It's just in this one place. He kind of jumps to the side. Hmm. It reads: Some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Where? Where do tigers have that a red and a blue eye? Hmm. I remember David as a kid when I wanted to make sense of these uh, puzzles. I was like, which? What kind of mechanism when you remove a crest that's obviously not sitting on a button tells it to you know revert? I can get like putting a gem in there specifically blue it could be like slightly different word whatever to trigger it to turn but then what the hell makes it turn back you know what do we get we get one of the crests represents wind wait really it's not like carving of a wind i know on the playstation version some of the item checks are wrong like um I think the the power room key from um, what's it called? Wait, is there the zombie here in the OG? Like here? No. Look, there's no one here. Okay, and no window where they can crash in. There's less windows and shelves in the OG than in the remake. I think it was the power room key from the guard guardhouse dormitory where it says it's got the carving of a moon or something like that what the hell is oh there it is all right let's get the other guy with the pistol two then reload because by the end of the game, I'll have so many pistol rounds. Am I hitting him? Oh, now you're on that side. Are you fucking kidding me? He turned and then he decided to die. Whee! You bleeding out, sir? I'm gonna hope for the best. He's bleeding out. <laughs> Hear him roar. <laughs> Playing this, that Brad should have gone back to the RPD and bring back. Yeah, he should have. He should have brought reinforcements. Like that. What? That's what you'd expect him to do, as a trained police officer, right? Always after the third shot, I gotta check if they're really dead. Because they're gonna keep another frame of animation before they get stunned on the ground. But uh, when they actually die, they just instantly collapse, as you've seen. Okay, one by one. 
shield key, not gonna need it for a while. Mm. You guys first. I'm gonna use the shield key right away. I'm gonna use that. I can put that away. For now. And OCD that. Yep, here we go. That's all I need, the herbicide. Okay, I didn't save. Say when I get back. Every door opening just gives me chills. Could be my last door. I always thought it's funny how you get the armor key here and... Uh, I will, I will. You get the armor key, key here and... Uh, the main, let's say, ingredient for for uh, the shield key is on the other side of the glass. But look at that. Here's a good example of dithering. Yeah, I will. I will. Just before yawn. That's not because, again, <laughs> the, the reason why I'm asking you guys to remind me is, like, normally I would go run through this without saving. It's kind of personal achievement to beat these OG RE games without saving. But two reasons, one, no, there's no auto-aim, so hunters and ticks, which I'm not used to, will give me a hard time. And second, we would never know when the game's gonna freeze. I'm not so sure about it. But yeah, I was gonna say, good example of dithering. So because Saren didn't have the like actual transparency, I think you can see it here. You should be able to, because on TV it's pretty evident. You can see each pixel, because, well, it's huge. And uh, every every second pixel is not drawn so you get it looks transparent when it blurs an old pump water seems to be sent from here the lid is open <laughs> yeah there's not a puzzle like in the remake there's a puzzle here puzzle you can kill the good herbs it's not really a puzzle it's it's a fuck you you want help well, fuck you, no health. You pulled the wrong valve. We really didn't... We were really unlucky with RE1 OG runs on this channel ever since it started. So the first RE I ever streamed was the PS1 version, which froze just before entering the lab when we have to put the... Eagle of the East and the Wolf of the West in their respective slots to open the fountain. That's where the like my first PS2 wouldn't read them. Then the Saturn <laughs> Biohazard version froze in the in the lab computer animation. It would just not go past that. So hopefully we'll actually be able to finish this one. Look at me. Look at all the weed I got. Oh, it was actually RE3. I saw some... So, Resident Evil and Quake, and also Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, I can thank those, they were like a couple of years older than us, uh, guys who would hang hang around the Speed Arcade, if you remember it, the one that was just behind our building, a carving of armor, and I saw them playing RE3, and 
I liked it immediately. I liked the zombies, the zombie design, and I liked Nemesis. So I was like, yeah, I want to play that too. So we played in parallel. And uh, I got stuck in Tony Hawk. I couldn't get past the level, collect all the tapes. And uh, they got stuck in RE3. So we swapped. I liked the puzzle aspect of RE more than... You know, like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is a great game. But it's not a Resident Evil, right? And it was the... I remember which puzzle. It was the... Michael Warren statue compass book puzzle. So I sold it for them and they beat the Tony Hawk challenge for me. It was a challenge. Get all the tapes in the on the high school level. And that's how I actually learned about this. Now we don't need the broken shotgun. We'll never need it in this run. Because we did the Jill sandwich. So let let it rest there. You know, there's a story how that shotgun became broken in the first place. I think it's on a, one of the editions of the Japanese Saturn release. Where uh, it was actually broken by George Trevor, who was trapped in the Jill sandwich room. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember this kind of stuff, especially from those years. It left a big impression on me. Okay, where do we want to go now? Now is a good time to bust out the map. Actually, I know where we want to go. We want to go... want to explore the first floor first. Drop everything. We're going to the boiler courtyard. The, the little boiler... I don't know what it's called. I call it the bo boiler courtyard. But then immediately after this... Because we already beat RE3, I think. Milosh was with me. The entire time and uh we went to a different arcade div if you remember them d and v ah <laughs> i'll never get used to that again okay let's drop these off as well better not let the captain see this there you go and uh i was like i want to play because Speed only had RE, Speed Arcade only had RE3, that's the only RE they had. And I went to the other one, and Milos and I spent the whole day, day there. I was like, I want to play RE1, and they gave us this, and then <laughs> I got to yawn. That's as far as I got to my first try, and it was frustrating. I played the Director's Cut version right off the bat, that's the one they had. I didn't know what Director's Cut means then, so I thought the entire game's name is Resident Evil Director's Cut. That's the name of the first game. <laughs> and I remember we got to yawn, and I was like, you know what, I want to see Resident Evil 2. And they asked me, do you want to play with the woman or with the man? <laughs> and I thought it's probably Jill and Carlos or Jill and Chris, you know? So I was like, I want to play with the woman. I like Jill more than Chris. Well, and Carlos. Thanks, senpai. And, uh, oh, wait, I have no water. I'll be, I'll be right back. Oh, thanks, love. Ah, oh, she's got a little bottle and everything. Look at my assistant producer, Sasha. Thank you, love. Thanks. Ah, actually, I want more. And, uh, they gave me the clear disc. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. So... I died in the first screen. <laughs> Gamut knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> we talked about this, but I'm pretty sure anybody who's ever played original RE2 for the first time, because the game doesn't, it starts with manual aim, right? RE, uh, Director Scott of RE1 and RE3 had auto aim right off the bat. In RE2, you gotta change that shit manually in the options to auto aim, and I didn't know that. <laughs> so, I just. I was like, why is this so hard? <laughs> I got killed on the first screen. <laughs> Thanks, Senpai. And yeah, she is awesome. This is helmet, right? Oh no, it's armor. Yeah, it's helmet in the remake. And, uh, <laughs> and I died in the first screen. And I remember it was very, very... Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like, Claire's death screen, when all the zombies uh, swarmed her. There's a guy here, isn't there? Yeah, there he is. 
Not a guy, I mean a zombie. One, two, three. Oh shit! That's what you get when you want to manually reload. I should really put that in my stream titles. Manual reloads only. <laughs> Run past him, that's right. Because he can't bite you while he's in getting up animation. Thank you, sir, for bleeding out. That death screen, like when, when she died for the first time, the screams, just like... Um, Ellison Court did the phenomenal scream there. And just the graphics, how all the zombies swarm her and just rip her flesh off. Like, I think they go for the jugular. And it just splatters everywhere. It was just too brutal. Like, RE3 and RE1 didn't have dead screens like that. That was gore. But it wasn't... I, I, it felt like they touched her inappropriately. It's <laughs> just the way it was animated just scared the shit out of me. And I was like, okay, this is this Resident Evil, I gotta play this. This this is hard, but I'm gonna master it. I think it took me a year going to different arcades because it's an arcade, right? You you pay to play and then you don't finish a game and then some guy who plays fucking football manager. Oh here's Mr. Crawley. Comes and like deletes your save because Football manager takes a whole fucking memory card, so you gotta start over. I think it took me a little over the year to finally finish RE2. And then it was like, hey, you wanna play with the other character? I think I finished with Leon. I was like, you wanna play with the other character? The harder mode? What do you mean the harder mode game? Oh my god, the B scenario. My school friends told me, <laughs> somebody said, you know, there's a... There's this, they called him the cyborg. Yeah, the tyrant, they called him the cyborg. Because we didn't have manuals in arcades or anything like that. You don't know what it's called. It's just some shit. Green guy trying to kill you. So my friend from school told me, yeah, when you start the B scenario, there's going to be the cyborg. You got to be, yeah, like, you got to be very, uh, you, don't, you don't have the key to this room. I Like, even as a kid, they told me, okay, yeah, she knows she's not going to get the key for, for that room. And it's true. Uh, I expected an actual cyborg, like a, you know, humanoid robot, but then T double O dropped through that ceiling. Just shaped my childhood right there. Look at this room, like Spencer really had good taste. Too bad he killed his best architect. Could have done wonders. I also didn't know that the whole Lisa Trevor, that like the whole Trevor subplot was actually supposed to be included in uh, in this game. It just, I think uh, most, if not all things from the remake were supposed to be included here, but the system uh, limitations and I'm pretty sure time limitations got them. <laughs> the farmer. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it, Spencer's strategy isn't really doesn't really pay off. Like you kill your best man. <laughs> Why? Just to be evil. There's no other. <laughs> I know it's called Resident Evil, but man, you don't have to be so literal about it. Jesus Christ. There's a thousand ways he could have done it, right? <laughs> At least clone him, but I better I better not talk about it because I'm pretty sure Capcom is gonna be like after RE8, RE9 is gonna be <laughs> we cloned <laughs> we cloned George Trevor. He's got powers now. I won't have enough room for anything, so I gotta go drop this shit off and kill that um, hallway zombie, and then I'll be back. Oh yeah, David, you know what would be snazzy? Hold on. Sir, I know you're in there. Maybe I should have shot him with a shotgun. Oh, there he goes. He's like shuffling. There's all oh, meat. Oh, three bullets. And I was afraid of that guy. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, man. Um, 
David, you know what's what would be cool? We gotta get us a uh, Saturn composite cable. Like SCART is great, but it's gonna be even better when I actually get a RGB capture card. The composite would be ideal to hook it up straight to Elgato. Cause right now I gotta. You remember the whole like splitter thing? I, I don't like the way it's sitting there. So this puzzle. Give me peaceful sleep. Sleep. Oh, I think they changed it. Did they change it? Let's read. Ah, ah, ah. This is where I got stuck for the first time in RE1. I beat Yon in the end, but I couldn't solve this puzzle. And then a friend in, the, in school told me, you know, order them by the age. And I was like, what the hell is a, what was it? Uh, a newborn baby? What's after that? We'll see. Give me the peace of death and I'll give you the joy of life. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Nope. I won't. No, 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 just to comp... Because what we got here is a Saturn, um, just a SCART cable. It's a European standard. The best picture you can get. But Elgato doesn't have a SCART plug. It only has component, composite, and HDMI. So what we need, because I kind of use SCART to composite converter, I just want to hook it up straight composite without any kind of converter. So what's this going to be? A picture of a tired middle-aged man. Oh, okay, so they, they didn't change that part. Just There's no from cradle to grave. I like the cradle from cradle to grave from the from the director's cut. Okay, let's order them up. Is this a newborn boy? -by? It's a newborn boy. -by. There's a switch. Push it. Yeah. Look at that crow scratching. Now here, young man, no. Listen here, young man. Infant. Yeah, I didn't know what, what an infant was. I thought it's like a very old person or something. And I think I asked my English teacher. And she said, oh, it's a, it's, it's a baby. It's a toddler, basically. You know, in Serbian only. I was like, ah, oh, that's, the, that's, you know, the, the source of my mistakes. Okay, here you go. Lively boy. From the cradle to enslave. <laughs> Okay, live. Did I press it? Shit, I don't know if I pressed it. God damn it. Let's go, let's go again. <laughs> I think, it, I'm pretty sure it resets when you leave the room, so. <laughs> John gets it. <laughs> You know, David, I gotta say, considering I didn't want to go past the title screen two hours ago. Yeah. It's looking good, in the words of Carlos. So, infant, then... No, then we go lively boy. Mm-mm. Lively boy, young man. Then middle-aged man, tired middle-aged man. That's you and me now, John. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure one of them didn't click. Fuck it, I'll just risk it. If I have to kill a bunch of crows, well, golly, I'll just kill a bunch of crows. Give me the peace of death and I'll give you the joy of life. There's a switch below. Will it push it? Yeah, okay, there we go. I probably pushed it the first time too, but... Oh, gee, zombie. I feel that pain. I played the German version of RE2. Couldn't finish it because I couldn't synthesize the vaccine in Claire A. I didn't understand what the hell they're asking me to do. <laughs> so I completely understand. You know, I didn't like that about Paul 
regions, what we got here. They insisted, they still insist on translating games to different languages. I see why, but I also think it's kind of bad in a way that, like, around me, a lot of people understood. They didn't really speak, they understood English at a very young age because of these games and movies. But now if you dub everything, nobody, like, it kind of separates us more, you know? Zelda was in German too, yeah. I somehow beat that in German. I sat there for a year and a half with a German dictionary. Would be much shorter if I... Oh, there should be a doggy here. I want to see a doggy. Jesus Christ, can you... Why can't you hit him? When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow towards the ground. Then the gate of new life will open. See, if this were a Silent Hill game, you should, you'd have to use those hints and put these crests in the right order. But since it's Resident Evil, the game just does it for you. <laughs> nah, when we chat, you just listen to Sasha and me <laughs> plabbing in the background. There you go. <laughs> you learn in no time. Yeah, the door's not never the knob's not broken here. That scared me in the remake. Aside from, you know, zombies that don't die unless you decapitate or burn them. The door that the a very important door that decides to be broken after two openings. Yeah, that was very scary. <laughs> hey, you never know. That's how I learned English. I just listened to people speak on TV and I was like, ah. And then I asked, I remember I asked my mom, why do they why do they use two words? Which one? This one? Why do they use two words for the end? It's just, it should just be end, you know, that's what it would be like in Serbian. And that's how I learned what the, what the, what the articles are. Articles? Yeah, they're articles. Wait, is that the triple green? It becomes brown? Look at that! Three green herbs. I would have thought that there's a blue in there. <laughs> yeah. Should I mix more herbs? Look at this. You know what? I never did that until I played the remake last time. And I was like, why not, why not make three red, three green herbs? I always thought that's a waste, but there's not enough reds in this game anyway. Can you go page up, page down in this? No. That's in the remake as well. Okay, a shit ton of herbs incoming. Yeah, that's all you need to know when you speak Serbian. There you go. <laughs> you think? Nah, I'm yellow, fine. I'll be... It'll be fine. <laughs> you know how the critical drinker says, it'll be fine. Just nothing to fear here, except fear itself. Hmm. Now, to make yawn easier, I should have done this earlier. I'm going to spray it with acid rounds. Or save acid rounds. There's something to think about. Maybe save acid rounds for the hunters right away? Nah. Because I'll still need... Shit. Let me think. There's two zombies upstairs. Maybe... No, two. There's no... De definitely not three. Two zombies upstairs. That's two rounds. And what else is there to kill? Damn, there's nothing. So... Fuck that, I guess. There's gonna be a lot of dogs. Can't waste bazooka on them, so... I kind of put myself in this position now. 
<laughs> uh, what the Serbian lesson guy or Kakuste Danas Bosme Bole Yai? Did I leave the key? Yeah, I left the key. I don't know why I don't need like 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should. Actually, good one. I'll. I'll send him that after the stream. <laughs> yeah, he actually does that. <laughs> Excuse me, neighbor. Could you tune down your music a bit? Bem ti mater ugasito govno više. Utuli, jeste, jeste. All right. I will, I will. It's hilarious. <laughs> he's uh so the guy's from Canada, but he's like his parents are from Serbia. And he was learning the language and then I guess he found it entertaining. Wow, that's it's almost like Serbian zombie. Fuck yourself in the bathroom? Is that what you said? Go fuck yourself in the bathroom? <laughs> I think that's what he said. But yeah, our languages are from the same family, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sasha was too. She keeps quoting him. Oh, it is. Nice. See, I speak Polish. <laughs> Oh, but what Sasha said there, if that's what you meant, she said, you can't, that's the thing, you can't really translate that to English one-on-one. -on -one. So in English it would be like, fucking bathroom, stupid fucking bathroom, but, uh, <laughs> or toilet, not bathroom, but, uh, here, zombie, I'll, I'll grant you your wish, there you go. Damn, that's a lot of green herbs, but no reds. I remember there being reds here, but nothing I remember means anything now. A rusty boiler. Nothing strange. So as a kid, I thought there must be something about this boiler to use a lighter. There's obviously, you know, because on the other side of this wall is the bathroom. that You can't do anything in with Jill, right? It's right there. Uh, right next to the bathtub. <laughs> and... I always thought you gotta do something with a lighter. Maybe make it explode or like the steam kills the dogs or you know anything. No. It's just maybe there at one point there was a plan for something like that. Because obviously you can light the fire beneath it, but not in this game. Jacuzzi. Yeah, make a jacuzzi, that's right. Fuck it. Not fuck him. <laughs> Bathroom is like neutral or neuter in uh, English. Hmm. Well, in Serbian too. Toku patil. Eat. <laughs> Eat. Rest your head, senpai. Oh, I love the door texture. Definitely better than my door. <laughs> Shit. Look at all this stuff. Hey, there's more zombies. I can use the bazooka on those zombies. And lip. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I have an idea. Look, I'm gonna try something different here. There's less than six zombies. 
No, but I did say I did say I want to keep the acid for. Shit, I don't know what I want to do. Trying to trying to reinvent the wheel here. Use the pistol. You'll need the shotgun later. I remember as a kid I used to do that. Waste the bazooka on zombies. And then, yeah, I need the key too. Waste the bazooka on zombies. And then, well, the explos explosive rounds. Cause in, or, or GRE1. You can't exchange them before you use them. So, you can't reload different rounds, I guess. It's locked until you fire everything you have in it. So, then I would load in acid rounds for yawn. But... I'm gonna try do this different. <laughs> rest, old man. Go rest our heroes. If this were the RPD, this is where Nemesis would jump in. <laughs> Tired middle aged man. It's a title. There's one more room that needs the armor key. I hear ya! Love this room. Or hallway. Such a waste of space. But why not? Wait, are we gonna trigger the berry cutscene here? I can't remember what's the... If you do something, then you meet Barry here and you get... A piece of the file is missing or something. Okay, no berry. So we don't get berry this time. I think it depends where you go first. Mmm, there you go. Good old stretch. Urgh. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. <laughs> oh yeah! Alma, be calm and read this. I think I've told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. <laughs> they sent a hunter for me. Last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying escaped. Studying? You sure? I'm pretty sure you can... Yeah, you can. You, in my in my previous RE One stream, we met him here. You can, but it, it's a different cutscene. I think now. I'm not sure. It's all mixed up, but we can always check. Refer to the YouTube vods. All my colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now, but there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternally. And Alma, even the memories of the days I spent with you. Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death, rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye, and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. <laughs> Such an unlucky name. Nah. <laughs> nah, zombie, there's just too many Resident Evil games mixed up in my head nowadays. Look, even the water is dithered. Can you see that? I don't know, actually. Maybe on the stream you can't see. It should look like a checkerboard effect. On the on the water itself, and you can see the bubbles. Fucking bubbles! <laughs> Seems like someone has searched here already. It appears to be a switch. Will you push it? Where does the water go from here? Don't ask. <laughs> so we gotta push it out, outside of here. And don't forget, yeah. 
collecting ink ribbons I'm not using. So, I guess I want to push it outwards, right? I can't remember. There's no hornet puzzle. I think inward. Yeah, inwards. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, it's the explosive rounds. Was this Martin Crackhorn's room? Looks like a study. Can't sleep there. Or maybe, maybe the one across was his bath bedroom. Maybe he was an important umbrella guy. No! Ah! Two more rooms and then we'll save. Is that the lighter? Oh, lighter. Some fluid is left. <laughs> is that how you say it in English? Not fuel, but fluid? You know, I like the clips from OG RE1. I think the remake, yeah, the remake as well. You have clips instead of, you know, just bullet boxes. But then in Outbreak, the first time I got a clip, I was like, wait, 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 I already had a... Why do they have bullet boxes and the clips? Took me a while to realize what the clips are for, after reading in the manual, actually. Oh, you can save fuel. Yeah, okay. We say gas as in, you know... I think we say gas, yeah. Yeah. You know the type of gas that in the regular lighters or like that you use for your stove but then like zippo kind this kind of like all of these petrol huh all of these uh, lighters from resident evil the flip kind we call them zippo because of zippo like, oh, like it doesn't matter what uh, who the producer is like who the manufacturer is but um uh, it's... Are you asking me? Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. I heard Sasha say something. But, you know, this kind of lighter, we call them Zippo immediately. Doesn't matter if Zippo made them or not. Hmm. Oh, really? There you go. Similarities. I like learning this stuff. It's a map of the second floor. Will you take it? Oh, you do. Because they never mention it in Resident Evil. Just call it a lighter. Like, this room in the remake makes much more sense. Because what the fuck is that tapestry doing on the ceiling? Who puts a carpet on the ceiling? Like, Spencer, are you out of your mind, man? Look at it. That, that room has a slavic carpet on the ceiling. I guess when you have money, you can do, you can put carpets on the ceiling. Some people don't have a ceiling at all. Some people have carpets on the ceilings. That's how this world works. Man, this is much easier than I thought it would be. I mean, we still didn't come across hunters. I know that's gonna be a lot of instant deaths, <laughs> but so far it's going good. The only bite I took was because I wasn't thinking. You know what? I can believe that. Armor key there. And armor key here. I think that's all the armor key has to offer. Yep. Goodbye, armor key. You served me well. Useless. That's it's not nice to call it useless. <clears throat> uh, um, we don't want Richard to awaken yet. So Louis C.K., my favorite stand-up comedian, <laughs> he has a he has a bit. I would totally believe he's a vampire. <laughs> he would fit that, wanting eternal life and whatnot. What was I saying? Louis C.K. has a bit where he talks about two old people, uh, an old couple, and 
the husband just dies as he walks with with the old lady and she screams Richard but the way he screams it it's uh <laughs> it reminds me of Jill in OGRE one I died here the first time I didn't realize my health was going down I was like what's the point of this gas and then she just went oh, oh. <laughs> it's senpai our boy senpai carving of the sun wait one of them had a different description i'm pretty sure isn't wendy's like burgers like a fast food restaurant <laughs> I think we can go straight to Richard, because I'm going to dump all the shit where I go to get Richard's stuff. I think that's it. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure that's all I can do for now. Yes. Yeah. Wait, that, what, what, what about that room there? Oh, that's the, that's the closet. Okay. And that's the exit. Okay, yeah, I've done everything on the first floor. Second floor. Looking good. So, yeah, that's it. Right? I'm gonna go there, save Richard, and the rest is history. Yeah, all right. Oh, right, key. But yeah, I don't need it yet, cause I I needed to open the after after Richard. Fast food. Yeah, I've heard about it in mo movies. Richard, what happened? <laughs> um. Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? Ouch! It was a huge snake, and also poisonous. Oh. Poisonous? Richard, the the one where you're looking like the camera is, is I mean serum. when it's like a little below oh, I think no. I saw it today I should have brought some unless wine. there's a, no there's something problem. else I'll go Yeah I will Thanks I think Yeah he should have a little hold you're right You're like right. hi welcome raid chopper welcome raiders welcome welcome to the Sega Saturn version of Resident Evil 1 the PAL version of all. Hello, Sexy Wesky. Hello, Raiders. Hi, Simon. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? I never seen that before. The beep's a little different. Thanks for the shout out, Senpai. Check out Sexy Wesky. I mean, Professor Wesker show. He's been playing. What have you been playing? Twitch is broken again or Streamlabs. Tell us what you've been playing, Wesky. Beep. Beep. Let's -a go. Let's go save Richard. All right. Was it less doors this way or downstairs? I think I should have gone downstairs. Click, click. There's my cow. Off he goes. Yeah. For the Sega Saturn, no less. On the actual Sega Saturn. Oh, nice. Good segue. From one RE to another. I already played the Japanese version uh, last winter, or this winter. Couldn't finish it because near the end the console just this like freezes when it's supposed to. When we're supposed to do the lab computer, John Ada password. 
Ah, nice. So Wesky here is brave enough to do the knife play. I don't, I, I, I haven't done a knife play in any game but Outbreak so far. So if you guys like that, check out Wesky. Especially in the Resident Evil one, the remake or original, the, the knife just stash it and <laughs> never use it. The only use for the knife for me is to cut through the Black Tiger's web, and that's it. All right, we can we can make something sexy here. First of all. Well, it's still not done. Even when I get to get up there, there's still more to do, I remember now. So, uh, bazooka. Bazooka, bazooka. Acid rounds. Wind crest, shield key. That's where we'll need that. Um, does he die while I'm, um, while I'm fucking around in the menus? I've never seen that, so let's find out. Yeah, me too, John. Me too. Me too, man. <laughs> so let's combine those first. Hold on a sec, Steve. Yeah, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do go up there. How much room do I need? Fuck it. I mean, it doesn't have to be this complex. Let's do this. Actually, you can keep that because we're going to find another. I'm going to try not to come back after Yawn. i never done that, so let's try it. Fear on extreme. Jesus Christ, man. I didn't know that was extreme. That's why you were mentioning so many deaths. Combat Beretta. So we want the bazooka and and the shotgun. That'll have to do, Joe. I'm going. I'm gonna be crazy here. Shield key as well. Yes. Then uh, leave the crest for now. Lighter goes first. Serum, bazooka. And I'll bring some health. Why not? I got a shit ton of it. Two should be enough. Here, and I'll save. God damn it, I'll save. That's how much I love you guys. Oh, really? It is stronger. Hi, Sineb. So you're about to finish the first fear. Come on, slobs. There you go, sis. I'm saving. So we can't go... We can't go to the... Ah, yeah, I didn't plug in the cart. That's right. But it couldn't save to action replay directly anyway, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 12. That's a weird number of save slots. Maybe it depends how much free room there is on the Saturn. So I'm saving on Saturn's internal memory. There's also, like, Saturn has a slot for... RAM backup cartridge, I think it's called, which I'm pretty sure was never released in Europe. David and I are hunting for any kind of copy that will work. It's the... So it's the first edition, first PAL edition. There's no auto-aim in this version. So I'm just... I just gotta be very careful when I come across hunters. All the Western releases, the first ones, um, were they were harder, yeah, than the Japanese. Like Biohazard one has auto aim, Resident Evil one doesn't. It didn't have until Director's Cut 
really. Yes, yeah, Sega Saturn. For Brazil, yeah. Well, Brazil? Wait, no, I was thinking of Sega Master System. But if you mean like Mega Drive uh, homebrew games, then yeah. But David here, my friend David, I think he's still in the chat, he's a huge Sega fan. So everything Sega I have here, he brought it over. Your copy of the copy doesn't have... Oh, Cause, yeah, because it's the OG one, yeah. <laughs> Synapse from... I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure Synapse from Brazil. And yeah, David and I know that Master System is really big there still. Yeah. Okay, I was a little nervous there. <laughs> Say signups from Brazil, and he says, "No, I'm from Argentina." <laughs> Richard, wait, Richard, I want to see what I'm giving you. I did, I could have given him poison. Sheesh, only one dose is left. Oh, it is a serum. Okay, okay, Richard. Here's the serum, Richard. Hold on, I'll give you a shot now. Jill, <laughs> As a kid, I thought she means radio. like, "I'll give you a shot." You should keep it. I'm <laughs> no. Oh, you can see the bite marks, kinda. Not as Jill, obvious. Be careful. <laughs> he's dying like the Frog King from Shrek Three. You think he's dead? He's like, one more sentence. Terrible demons! Ouch. <laughs> we have. I'm gonna use the key that's gonna free up a slot and then two herbs mix them right away if like if I do this right yawn's not even gonna bite me but it doesn't mean I'll do it right <laughs> right away All right, I got used to the controls. That's good. Wait, Richard, do you have a clip on you? Richard is dead. Yeah, but does he have ammo on him? He does? Wow, Richard, you had ammo and you died. I guess it sucks to be you, man. He doesn't have to, I think. I recently learned, again, I'm not sure if that's in the remake or here. If you do things a certain way, he can totally not save you. Let's use the... Put the key in. Oh, jeez. Oh, Christ, I thought she's opening the door. I was like, I'm not ready to enter that room, woman. <laughs> How did Richard... Like, who locked the door? Did Wesker come just jump over... Dying Richard to lock the door and hide the 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 shield key. Or what the hell happened here? So many questions. Oh, death too. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. And there's gonna be some kind of round. So yeah, yeah. I can't. I gotta go back down to the item room because I won't won't have any room for the. A candle. And I didn't bring the lighter. Fuck me. And I was like, yeah, be sure to bring a lighter. And then I didn't bring it. Is there a guy here? No, that's also in the remake. Because she'll be like, oh, it's too dark to see. Yeah. Never mind, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Closet. You don't have a level 5 key? <laughs> but Wesker has. Going around, locking doors. Coming back to the RPD all sweaty like, Hey Captain, where were you? I was uh, training with uh, Chief Irons. Yeah, that's what I was doing. 
Totally. No conspiracy plot here. Again, I think in the remake there are two zombies here when you're back. Okay, the closest item room is close enough. See how I call them item rooms and not save rooms? That tells you a lot about how I see these games. <laughs> Yeah, just the main quest. I don't know how that would work in RE1, because a lot of it is the main quest. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't pick up the ammo. Stuff like that. Because I envision that for games like Outbreak, where instead of fucking around, we just go for to end the, the scenario. So I guess I can apply that uh, mindset here. Freeze, it's the chest police station. Combine. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Reversing my controller, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's usually Carter who does that. So now... Shit. Okay. I can do this. Yes. Yes, I'm doing it. Good thing I'm not killing a zombie snake. Oh, I'm out of regular old herbs. It's Jill, I'm pretty sure she can handle. Nah. There you go. What else can I mix? Anything else left to mix? That's it. I just wanted to stash this shit. Have enough room to come back with the... Uh... Oh, yeah. I need to put more challenges. I just don't get to actually play around with the channel stuff and by play around i mean you know work on it i think this is enough for a giant snake of death to die start this actually i like this start is at a better position now oh yeah <laughs> all the all the other buttons are shit but start is at a great position here. The scary door. Oh, I saved five minutes ago and I'm not gonna waste a, an ink ribbon to save now. Okay. Uh, left and right is the same, but up and down is reversed. Oh yeah, that's because we flipped it on the x-axis. X -axis. Thanks, sis. <laughs> oh, it's so confusing. Oh. Come on, door. Sheesh. Every time that happens. I get a butt clench. Oh. <laughs> Damn, John. He's running like she never ran in her life. Here, I'm doing it. Oh, 
No, just take your time. Wait, the lighter. Oh. One thing I should have brought. What do you mean? You could load the game much faster. Zombie. All that effort to nothing. Oh. Turn, turn, Jill, turn. <laughs> <laughs> you feel evil in Resident Evil, huh? So, left. A is run. B is open. It won't open. I can't walk! Oh, you mean just before the... before yawn. That's right, you can do it me, you can do it. This is a very awkward controller to hold backwards or upside down. Unlike... <laughs> Unlike like the PlayStation 2 and Xbox controller. Even though it also has prongs, something... I can't press the shoulder buttons as easy. Well, the only evil that happened here is me forgetting the the lighter. God damn it. <laughs> Good night, Wesky. Thanks for the raid again. And you have a nice dream. Thank you. So, lighter. Let's not forget the lighter. Because we'll get some... Acid rounds, I think. Oh my Jesus. I always have to look at the fucking thing before knowing what's up and down. Good night, Simon. Thanks for dropping by. Sweet dreams. Run! I feel like it's working better than before, than when I started, David. I guess it really needs to stretch its silicone legs and arms. Yeah, <laughs> this is much harder than... I feel like playing Outbreak upside down is a lot easier. I'm pretty sure it exp Yeah, it expired. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that lunacy. Let's go kill us a snake. Simon says goodnight. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't look at Richard. He's got nothing useful. Oh. Okay, you're not backwards now. What's the problem? <laughs> now I gotta get used to holding it upright. Alright, can we light some fire here, Jill? Who who pushed Wesker? Who pushed my closet back? That's what he does. Resets the puzzle puzzles. A candle. Thanks, John. Ah fresh transparent water. Oh shit, I'll go back here. I I do need the room for I should have taken the clip right away. I got distracted by forgetting about this. 
Yes, it's acid rounds. All right, 12 acid rounds instead of six. That's a really good start. It's a better kind of start. Look at the detail on the wood on the wall there. Oh, so good. Fuck it. Doesn't matter what I come back for. One thing I'll have to come back for. And if I get poisoned, I'll be on the wrong side of the house anyway. In a way, at least from where I'm looking, kind of looks better on the stream than on the than on the TV. Only the the frame rate's halved. Wait, did I equip it already? Yep. Almost killed myself. All right, snakey, snakey, wakey, wakey, <laughs> wakey, wakey, snakey. Is there shells here in the OG? I don't think there is. Oh no, it's the sock puppet snake. Without auto aim, this is gonna be... Oh, I'm not so easy. He wants to dance with me. Oh, damn it, I got bitten. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. No, it's not done. Jesus Christ. Good timing, too. I'll try to be sexy about this. Oh God, without... Are you dead? Please? I said live reloads only, so live reloads only. Shit. Okay. I see the error of my ways here. He's dead. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. No? I can't remember what's the animation of the dead snake in this game. Is it dead now? Yeah, it is. Okay, the music fades out, that's right. Holy shit! Hmm, that could have been very dangerous. I will die if I don't haul ass. So I will haul ass. And I saved the acid rounds, good. The resolution of the game, well, of all the games, like 95% of games from this era ran at 240p so that would be 320 by 240 pixels which is very low yeah that's okay sis that's what's supposed to happen now, this is an outbreak so i won't be in one hp books and gadgetry nothing useful there's not enough time to run around yeah the health hp is going down quickly with poison in this one that's that the, the like i said in that puzzle room over there the first time i played this game as a kid i died just from poison really kills you and then outbreak kind of spoiled me I, I keep expecting to stay at one hp so like nothing touches me i'll be okay somebody fell on the piano am i poisoned give me the serum Okay, she'll collapse. Because also, if you do something certain way, Barry doesn't come. He's like, Jail, I keep rescuing you. Please, you're a police officer. Special forces, no less. <laughs> this is, like, the only place where this music plays. <clears throat> and I love it.
You did escape, sis, because we'll fight it later and kill it for good. I should have, so I think my, my child strategy is better. Waste the uh, explosive rounds on zombies. Barry. Barry? And then... Just kill Yon with acid rounds, but that's okay. At least I'll have flame rounds ready for plant 42. Now let's sort this shit. Uh, you go there. I need... I need that. Pretty good with ammo. For RE1, this is excellent. Barry, why did you unequip my weapon? Three shells. Why? So why am I doing this? So I could do this. And this. So I could do this. So knife, knife. Pistol, rounds. Shotgun, shells. Oh fuck, I forgot I had those two. And I'll need these two. <laughs> you gotta be less harsh to yourself, man. I will fight you on this. Hey, I played played this on like training mode the first three times. I played RE3 on easy until a year ago, I think. <laughs> I didn't know the hard mode was was the real deal. Explosive, blah, blah, blah. Acid, there you go. Ooh, there's gonna be dogs. And I'll find herbs outside, so... This is it. Just roll. Oh, love. Damn, I thought... I thought something happened. She's playing DBD. Sounds scary over there. Yeah, the HP. So Barry healed me. Unlike me and Joseph, <laughs> Barry actually did his stuff. I don't think I'm missing anything. Wait, was there something on the shelf? Did you guys see something? I'm gonna come back. I thought I saw some an item on the shelf. Probably not, but I'm gonna go back. Because now I'm intrigued. I won't rest until I check that. There shouldn't be, unless Barry left a note. I saved your life, you owe me. Yeah, see that? Well, I guess it's more just my blind, my blind, my mind playing tricks on me. <laughs> no, I got the ribbon from the bed, so yeah, it's not. What's the fastest way to get there? Would it be faster this way? Doesn't matter, let's just go. Yeah, that whole thing with the zombie coming down to the kitchen. In the remake, you can trigger it at the start of the game. Here, you can't trigger it before you come back from the guardhouse. Oh, nice. Your dad played it. I can relate to that. My dad didn't play RE. I think they're watching me play RE nowadays. <laughs> Uh, 
I got all the crusts, right? There's four of them, yeah. One's in, three, three are in my hands, so we're good. I remember why I go through the second floor. So on the first floor, from the save room, you gotta go through door one, two, three, four to get to the hallway, four doors. And if you go up this way, you go stairs, doors, doors, and then stairs. Yeah, it's the same, so it doesn't matter. Damn, you're... That's badass, just... <laughs> It's nice of them to let you watch. I know, especially in the West, this was a big deal for a lot of children when their parents let them watch, let alone play Resident Evil. <laughs> Alright, sis. Thanks for being here. We're gonna be running from some baby snakes. <laughs> well, this beautiful sign of... Wait, what? Really? <laughs> he just wanted you to be tough right away. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hey, son, think fast. But, Dad, I'm scared to play this. <laughs> uh, what was it? Like, push it once, twice? Man. This perspective is... Yeah, okay. And then push it here. Damn. I mean, my mom let me watch horror movies. She didn't make me... <laughs> I think the first horror movie I remember was Child Pl Child's Play 3. I didn't even know it was a third movie because they recorded it from TV on VHS. So it was like it started a couple minutes later, you know. It didn't start recording it right away. But <laughs> it fueled my nightmares, it did. Oh boy, Sinev. I'm sorry. Yeah. I get that. My nephew, the same guy who's not right now playing uh, uh, DVD with Sasha, he was afraid of zombies because <laughs> he watched me play this a lot. He was like, what, seven years old? No, wait, he's five years younger than me. I was... Yeah, seven years old. How many bullets? Gotta count, because I gotta reload live. Here we go. Eight. God damn it, it's six. Four. Two. One. Okay. This. I didn't know what this sounds meant as a kid. Even though Richard gives you a radio, it's like a key item. So he doesn't really talk about it. Like the lockpick. You never see it. I didn't know, like, where the hell did I get the lockpick? Oh, here we go. Now I know. This is Jill. Why is she whispering? This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Problem Team. It doesn't matter. Anybody answer me. This is Brad. Brad. Brad.
Well, of course it doesn't work. You didn't even pull out the radio, just talking to your hand, Jill. Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. I never watched that, at least not that I remember. Maybe as a kid, but I would have remembered. I liked horror movies. I like horror and comedy. Ever since I knew uh, where my ass is. And, uh, and I didn't watch Friday. Nightmare on Elm Street or Texas Ch Chainsaw Massacre. I did catch a bit of Texas Chainsaw Massacre once, but I never watched those movies. I did watch all the Halloween movies though, because that one we had on TV and they played marathons, I think a few years in a row. I enjoyed that. Especially Halloween 3 that nobody liked back then. I hear people like it nowadays. I loved how they changed up the formula and how psychedelic it was. But it bombed when it first came out. Oh, here we go. Now we have the blue herbs. Isn't that convenient? Recently watched the first one with Sasha. Just to remember. We have all those movies on the list to watch them. Right now we're watching 24, you know, the show with Kiefer Suttonland. I've been talking about it for seven years and Disney Plus actually arrived in Serbia. Yeah, that's big. We got Disney Disney Plus as of recently. So we found out that it's on Disney Plus and, uh, and we started watching it immediately. And the funny thing is, at least in the first season of 24, which is the only one I watched back in when, it, when it came out, watched like completely... The terrorists are Serbian. But you can see, like, most of those actors, there's a few Croatian or Serbian, Yugoslavian actors, but um, most of them speak very broken Serbian. <laughs> and you can hear it. It's kind of ripping my ears. A water passage. There's a ladder. Look at that dithering. I really wonder if you can see it. on. The yeah, you can see it on the stream, the checkerboard. There you go. Now I saw it. I was wondering if it would even show through Elgato. Oh, your dad loves Halloween. Nice. What, the first one specifically? I didn't know about the uh, 24 PS2 game. Is it any good? Is it the Serbian season? Because I would play that. Just for shit. You know, it's going to be fun when we do RE6. Because a good chunk of it is set in Edonia. Which is like ex-Yugoslav countries. It kind of sounds like Macedonia, but it's so obviously Serbian. They speak. Uh, when a zombie comes up to me and says, eat shit and die. God. Water is running down the opposite side. Oh, okay. You just told me it exists. Well, I'm going to look that up. Really curious after watching the show. What is D? What D plus is shit? Don't buy. What do you mean? Broken sword. What is broken sword? Oh, snakes! Not the snakes! Oh my god! It's the snakes! Goodbye, snakes. These snakes are not solid. They can't touch me. What is broken sword? It's just assuming you're talking to me. Oh, the elevator is slightly different in this version. Would you look at that? A point and click PS1 game. Is Does it count if I play it with the PS1 mouse? There should be some dogs here, right? Shit, I gotta be in the frame a little. There we go. Oh shit, two dogs. This is so hard without the auto aim. Please die. Okay, then. Oh jeez. Oh gee, Rick. What is that? It looks like you can pick it up, but I guess you can't. Mystery detective. Huh? Bro broken sword, broken sword, broken sword. I gotta write a reminder somewhere. Broken sword. I'm gonna look that up. Broken sword, broken sword. 
Well, if I say it enough times, it'll stick in my head. That's not water, it's just a bunch of checkerboard pixels, game. You could just... It's water! Why could you just fucking walk through it? <laughs> it's water, I don't want to get wet. You know, getting bloody and bitten, that's okay, but water... <laughs> I'm a policeman, not a diver. <laughs> yeah, she'll melt. <laughs> Some of the puzzles... It makes... They make sense only in RE. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, son. Oh, you wanted it. Oh my god, save. That's a personal challenge. I like playing OGRE games only with live reloads. So if I die, I have no one else to blame but myself. Yeah, there's no... Well, there's no shack in the OG. It's just a guardhouse. There's no graveyard and all that. <laughs> That's why she's afraid of water. Okay, okay, good to know. It's pretty good for 25 frames per second stream. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, let's okay, let's start by I think this will stay in place where you once you put it where you need to. Sign up, we're, we're gonna finish, or at least get close to finishing Eternal Darkness tomorrow, just so you know. But I might have mentioned, I wanted to, we will have three playthroughs of that game, because that's like, you gotta play it three times with different alignments to get the true ending. And seeing how fast I breezed through, the, through it the other day, even with like reading shit and dicking around, Oh, come on. I, well, let's just hope for the best. <laughs> I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I also hoped it wouldn't. Here we go. Oh, look at that spray there. Waiting for me. But I never came. Oh wait, you got... I thought we have no regular greens. And blues at the end. There's gonna be more blues. And leave this as well. Whee! Inventory free-falling. Yeah, I just need lots of space. That's it. Oh, I'm glad, John. I'm glad. I really love that game. Makes me sad so few people played it like are you like are you one remake and zero i know you don't like zero but it i'm the guy i'm gonna say it's not as good as are you one remake sure it's missing some things but it's also its own game right and uh, the point is before those were really re-released i always thought man it's so sad pe only people who have gamecube will be able to play it because i have a friend whom i played resident evil one with as a kid and he never intended to get the GameCube. He was a PlayStation man. So I was always sad, like, Igor is his name. Igor is never gonna, you know, experience the remake. Like, the, the magnificent version blew my mind when I first played it. But then they re-released it for everything. Nice, yes. Yes. Nice. Hunters beware. Zukaba. So I think I'm going to say after the guardhouse 
Usually I keep using the pistol a few more times, but I think we'll be good. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, nice. It set itself. That's very nice of you, statue. I appreciate the hard work you're doing here. Do I even want these blues? Let's get the herbs outside first. Oh, I thought it froze. Yeah, the pistol is incredibly powerful. I use, normally, I use the pistol all the way to the end game, like to the lab. And then when I get to the lab, I'm like, look at this, I have 80 fucking shotgun shells. It's, there's nothing to kill every goddamn time. And the last few runs, I was a, a bit smarter with it, but still, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> It's just too good. Like, yes, the shotgun will kill things faster. In a way that I can flick more damage in shorter amount of time. But the pistol is just crazy. I didn't know you need only 13 bullets though. And I do remember that these like old RE games have a very simple HP value. So it's not like thousands like in the later games. It's more like... I think Jill has like 80 or something. Wouldn't be surprised if it's 12. It's like two digit numbers. Yes, I saw that. I saw the 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 D D make for for the Mega Drive. Can't wait to see it too. And I know someone here who can't wait to see that. No, I didn't. I did save just before yawn, so I'll keep playing for now. I'm just fucking challenging myself. I'll save every now and then, I promise. It hurts me every time I waste an ink ribbon, but I'll try. Worst case scenario, gotta redo a good chunk of the game. I mean, if it freezes. But it didn't freeze, it just... I hear the la laser moving and then I'm like, oh, something bad will happen. I really don't have to pick up every goddamn herb. Now, can you enter here in the OG? I think you can. Before I go, yeah, I'm gonna go in here and ask a few questions. You don't need, you need a key in the remake only, yeah. I think this is where I'll find the key with the wrong text. And the music's slightly different. Hmm. He didn't bleed out still. Okay. Okay. How many bullets? Five. Count. Come on, sir. I don't have all day. I know you're in no, no hurry, but I am. They all fall after only three bullets. So, bullet, reload, bullet. Nice. Please. I can see through your dirty tricks. Nice. Oh man, I don't want you to go to work too. <laughs> Honestly, you need rest. The book. I need the book. Fuck. Okay. Well, at least we did something. Gotta dump some of this shit. Ask me why I picked up all those blue herbs. Please, ask me. It's not like I'm gonna be poisoned at every step. But I, now I might be. <laughs> I might be, considering how, how I just jinxed it. How are you satisfied with how it's working, David? I think it's very sexy. There, Sasha has some good wishes for you, Johnny boy. 
Mmm, this is... This looks like two green herbs. I get your colors straight, game. That's all the blue herbs we need. Like, if I see a blue herb and pick it up, please shoot me. In the foot. With a gun. I will stock up on shells, though, for now. Because afterwards, this is gonna be a little harder. Anything to, to carry around here? Lighter crank? No, no. No, 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 no. There's no... See, that thing at the bottom of the shell still keeps bugging me. Like, it would make your night easier if you didn't go to work, right? Did I get that right? Hmm. For the web spinners. Bazooka or shotgun? I'm gonna say bazooka. Fuck him. I'm gonna load up the bazooka. Six shells. Use them on something. Before... Before we load the flame rounds. Blank book. Oh, what about the window? Where, which wall is this? Wait, is this the northern wall? No, it's the eastern wall. No, it is the northern wall. I was right. Good. Okay, I know where I am. Uh, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Well, you know, we all wish you a good rest, my friend. Is a guy gonna come out of this? I can't remember. No, it's not here. Nothing major. What about something minor? No clip. A towel rack. No, it's just gonna be the key. That's a very slow draining bathtub. Ha! <laughs> ah. I found you. C room key. The crew key. Okay. Okay, so it's only on the PlayStation version. When we play the PlayStation version, we'll see it. It'll say something like a carving of a moon, I think. My butt. <laughs> I know, I get it. <laughs> I get it. My thumb is just my thumb is like half the size of my phone's touch screen. And if I get the phone that's good for my hands, it's not a phone, it's a tablet. <laughs> Chrome key. I'm gonna keep the chrome key, but I'm gonna dump the blank book. And bring the bazooka. Don't forget the bazooka. Instead of the shotgun. Six and six. So six for six hunters. And then, yeah, we got 12 acid. This is gonna be fine. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure there's be, there'll be something to kill with the bazooka. It doesn't reload. I don't think it live. It's the only weapon that doesn't do the live reload. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I'll be back here after the, the that room, yeah. Oh, yeah, before the director's cut, this puzzle was shit. I am remembering stuff now. That's right, Sasha had to solve it in the last stream. Because I had no idea what he was talking about. Let's see if I understand it now. Because I remember the director's cut where they fixed the billiard stable puzzle. But in this version, it's like cryptic as fuck. Let me see if I can figure it out. Let's take care of the web spinners first. Nice. Hi, Webby. Ah! It's not what I wanted. Don't mind me, I'll just... God damn it, it got to me first. Stop turning, Jill! For the love of fuck! Did it poison me? Oh no, didn't didn't do shit. What do you mean? Uh, the the billiards puzzle? Yeah, just like the just like the painting or picture room puzzle. It's different. A lot of stuff was made better in the... Clock puzzle? Yeah. It's different here. I know I had issues, like the first time I played this on Mixer, Sasha had to solve it. There, I wasted the bazooka shell, man. That hurts me more than... You guys have no idea how much it hurts me. I'm just putting on a brave face. It's broken. Let's check it out now. A six ball. So yeah, this is supposed to be a clock, I think. A three ball. It's supposed to be a clock, I'm pretty sure. It looks like a clock dial. Some kind of a code. But in director's cut, it's slightly different. I'm still looking for the DS version. I would love to play that. So it, it, is it a clock? Because then it would be like, oh, the big and the small. I, I'm, so it's either 545, no, 345, or what? what's the other one? Or 250, 255. So what did I say? 345. Or 250 or 255. Because you can't make sense out of this. From this angle. I think in... Oh, nice. I think in the director's cut version, it's like... Uh, just tells you the, 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 the numbers. Something like that. What will I need? Well, nothing really. As long as the Neptunes don't fuck me up, I'll be good. <laughs> Hi, Lag Storm. Oh, nice. Hear that, David? There's more Sega fans here. Are we gonna bring some health? No, just bring the Kroom key. Hi, Kroom key. That's it. Even the game room is so much simpler. This version. Thick.
What is this? Some kind of rooch. Now here, if I remember, I can freely take the the map without fearing retaliation, right? Oh, it's not even there. Yeah, the map's not here in this version. It's one in one of the rooms. Thick. I didn't even know they had Raymond on Saturday. But why wouldn't they? It's weird because like back in the 8 bit, 8 bit and 16 bit, well, in the 8 bit era, NES wasn't as big as the master system here, but bigger than both of those was the home computing uh, scene. The, you know, like the bedroom programmers. A lot of big games came out of that, right? But. In the 16-bit era, Sega Mega Drive, or Sega Genesis, as you know it in the US, was much bigger than the Super Nintendo. I don't even know anyone who had a Super Nintendo. This one needs a key, right? Yeah, let's try the puzzle before the Hornets come out. The puzzle, Jill? What do we say? It's gonna be... Is it gonna be 345? But then... When we came to the next generation, PlayStation just like floated on top. And I think the big reason for that is, yeah, it is 345. <laughs> the big reason for that was, um, do I want to, yeah, I can't do that yet. That's right. Welcome back, Lyubka. Uh PlayStation 1 over N64 and Saturn here chiefly because it was easy to pirate on and we were like this country was fucked up in the 90s so yeah the key is at the Hornets that's right that's right I remember now do I wanna you know what we're simplifying stuff now let's grab the key Thanks for that shout out, Senpai. Hold on, let me grab the key. Hopefully without incident. There they are. Yeah. Five 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 timer? I don't know, I just know that every arcade had mod chip playstations and they all had like CDR games that's like I talked about it in one of the previous streams I thought until like uh, in my late teens that s games are made by some people who love games they just burn it on CD and pass it on that's how you <laughs> that's how you get a game and then I learned it it's not like that and bought my first my very own first game for my first salary was Quake 4 for the PC I still have it and I never looked back. That's how the collection started growing. I was like, oh my god, these games have uh, manuals. They have like actual high quality discs. I thought like, you know, much, much chip PlayStation. That's how it works. You got to buy a PlayStation, then you got to chip it. How else are you going to play the games? <laughs> I was a kid. I didn't understand. I thought, you know, everybody does it like that. The arcade does it that way, so that must be it. It's, there's no question about it. The same arcade that had Thrill Kill. Oh, there's the map. It was in the room. Let's grab the map. Dormitory sketch. So, since it's kind of weird to do it yourself, I'm gonna do this for our boy Senpai. You've been giving shout outs. But you didn't get a shout out. Did you guys both play Fear today? You can't do it your own horn, I guess. Planned 42 report. Nice. Four days have passed since the accident and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T virus differently than other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. 
Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. It was probably a green herb. There were two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, the scientists went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes some chemical elements and promotes wait if it's plural you can't have okay why am i and promotes the incredibly fast growth of plant 42 another part of plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor many vines come out of the, those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition one sensing movement plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it then it starts sucking, <laughs> sucking up the blood, <laughs> using the suckers located at the back of its comrade vine. <laughs> it also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victims to this. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarkin. So I guess Henry was separated from... Um, oh, Fear Tree and Co-op. That's been my... That's one of the things, so when I get to Fear 3, I want to play it co-op. No single player. <laughs> co-op games should be played in co-op. What is wrong with that item model? Yeah, people don't like 3, I see. I think this is where a guy is going to be staring me in the face. The, a, a lot of the, because I started only fear one seven years ago, and I was like, I gotta do this properly, and then I never picked it up. <clears throat> but you guys, it was you, I think. Was it Lagstorm we saw play uh, fear the other day, Senpai? I think it was. And then mm, Senpai was playing it this morning. I kind of feel like I want to play it, but. Let's not get hell ahead of ourselves. <laughs> okay, so it's that kind of game. <clears throat> Wherever I see fear games mentioned, it's always like the first game was had really good potential. It could have been better, but it was okay. And then the second was worse. The third was much worse. Oh, you can't push it behind, right? Do I want to go back to the chest? Oh, we'll have... No, actually, I think I, I won't need to. I mean, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Anything that wants to be Call of Duty is... Well, it's not Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. Ah... I know my friend Joe loves this team. Sometimes when we play the unspeakable Resident Evil game, he hums it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fall for that. A beginner's mistake. I wouldn't be surprised. I read that... Uh... <laughs> Zombie, was that a no for the unspeakable airy game? I'm like that too, Lagstorm. As you know... Silent Hill 3 is the worst Silent Hill, but I adore it. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, it's the worst Silent Hill, but I still love it. It's still a great game. Yeah. I love RE6 more than 4 and 5, honestly. Shoot me, but... Usually I say this in other people's chats. <laughs> like, Resident Evil 4, I see what they, they were going for, but it's not what I wanted. It's not what, what I... That's not what I gave money for, to play that. 
I'm glad it was like the f one of the first things that my GameCube booted, sure, but man, <laughs> it's totally not what I wanted to play. And ah, uh, that's right. Okay, we'll be back this way. We'll, we'll catch them all. Look at that dither water. No, oh! <laughs> but uh... oh, for moving crate. Okay, but. The, uh, it's just, <laughs> oh, how do I even say it? A lot of people said this, it will, it will, if it were a different game, it would be excellent. But because I expect Resident Evil, and the first thing Leon says, that's right. Thanks, Sinev. Lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol <laughs> down. Pistol pack and yeah. mama. Lay that pistol down. That's it. So, in RE4 and 5, they're like, you're third person now, you can move everywhere. No, I can't. I still move like in these games. It's just, the controls are the same, just the point of view is different. You still turn left and right with left and right. <laughs> and you go forward and backward with up and down. It's the same. But RE6 at least didn't pretend. Wait, I forgot what it, this looks like now. Didn't pretend. You know, it's horror, it was like action game from start to finish, and I had a lot of fun playing it. I need to go to the control room, right? I think I got the key. So it's like, in RE... I gotta go to the left door first, was it? In RE 6, I have control over my character, it's kind of fits, the, the gameplay fits the presentation, is what I'm trying to say. In RE4 and 5, it doesn't, and I don't know. The Chrome key. You know, good game with good QTEs was Fahrenheit, or... Um, or, uh, what's it called in the US, in the in Americas, it's called Indigo Prophecy. That game is... Had, that game was a giant QTE, but it made sense in ga that game more than... You know, Ari trying to be QT. There's a lever. Or is it a lever? <laughs> yeah. I love Fahrenheit, but... You know, if you're playing it on Xbox, I, that is. So, I had the... I had the Xbox version of that game first, the OG Xbox, and it looks wonderful. Like, if you play it on a, on an Xbox 360, it's even in 720p. It's beautiful. But then I got the PlayStation 2 version just because, well, it's PlayStation 2. I wanted to. First thing, all right out of the box, it doesn't support widescreen. But then also it runs like shit compared to the Xbox version. Oh my god, it runs like, like it has issues. Oh yeah, we all agree about that. Yeah, we all agree it's kind of... David Cage is surrounded by these stories. So I don't know. I love his creativity. But there's always some kind of a story. Negative one. Well, always. Recently there have been a couple surrounding him. But, you know, despite all that, I just have a, a very soft spot for Fahrenheit, really. Or Indigo Prophecy, it's just... Oh, that's it. Thanks, Lagstorm. I was wondering what happened. You can see the quality go down, but some of the... Some moments, like Carla in the dark basement, trying to keep that... Uh, breathing, heart rate... That's... I like that. That was pretty cool. The story was good until, again, up until a certain point. But, you know, like you said before, when you have that ability to enjoy things easier. Don't stream what? Fahrenheit? There should be a key item. There we go. Literally a key item. Dormitory. 
Far, 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 far. They're all wet and useless. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to know what I thought. <laughs> yes, Kitty, it's funny. Yeah, easy to please. That's that's a good way to say it. Welcome, Kitty. Oh, please. And there's nothing in the root room, right? A long f form review, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can allow that. The context is important. Oh really, he said that. He really said that? Oh Jesus Christ. I didn't know that. I heard about some of that stuff, but I didn't know he said that. Looks like a plant root. Well, what else would it be, Jill? What's in the gourd, though? There's a bag, nothing useful inside. It's not a gourd, it's a bag. Yeah, exactly. That's the feeling I get. I know in the corporate world, it's there. there's a lot of setups. If you step on someone's toes, they can set you up. So, you know, I always take everything with a grain of salt. Though a lot of sources have bashed him. What's up with the, quant with the Quantic Dream Star Wars game, though? Is anything going to come out of that? Yeah, just play games and enjoy them. That's the point. Oh, we can even pick this up. Man. Is this lucky or what? Though when I find a red herb, I'll have nothing to combine it with. There'll be enough green herbs, I'm sure. Doobie doobie. Yeah, exactly. Sounds like a one man show. Oh yeah, let's do that. Did I check it? I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm just like on autopilot when I'm talking. 003. Divorcement of the art from its creator. You mean that like as in... Do you, are you supporting uh, uh, Synapse view or are you against it? That's the part I don't get. Let's see if we gotta blow some brains here. Look at that ammo. How the fuck is this possible? This is RE1. This is not Director's Cut. What the hell? Okay, yeah. That's what I thought, but I thought... I always ask if I'm unclear. Just like, yeah, I agree with you, <laughs> but I don't. Zamboni? Is there a Zamboni here? No Zamboni. Row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? V-Jolt report. 
As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16, one of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. Why? <laughs> I don't know why they called it V-Jolt. Actually, I never got that part. My my <laughs> my best theory theory for that was you know how in like well in outbreak it's pretty obvious that the uh, plant forty three looks kind of vaginal uh, when you're killing it was it supposed to be vaginal jolt in our calculation it will take less than five seconds to destroy plant forty two if we put the V jolt directly in the root. <laughs> You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. 2, 3, ok. Blah blah blah. Stimulating smell. What does that even mean? Haha, <laughs> V-Jolt is brown. Oh god, here we go, the sing mode! Let me hydrate first! Now a book is missing, where's the missing book, Jill? Did Wesker take the book? When he gave you the dirty look Open the desk, use the lockpick, master of unlocking. Check inside the fucking desk. It's a ribbon, take it with you. <laughs> Smell some of that UMB, what was it? UMB 14. <laughs> Open the door, blast the zombie. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Can I pick this up? UMB 13 <laughs> is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Dust collects inside, the bat towel is dirty. Run away, it stinks like shit. <laughs> Little boy going down to Yale. <laughs> That's my first thought, like <laughs> Trey Parker doing the the Ken Kenny going to hell song <laughs> in the South Park movie. Mm. <laughs> Two air vents on the roof. <laughs> That's what the guy was talking. Oh shit! <laughs> that kind of singing. <laughs> and I will run 500 miles. And I will run 500 more. <laughs> Just to see that loading door. <laughs> uh, good night here. Thanks, people. Thank you, all of you. It's not exactly eternal darkness, but it's fun nonetheless. Here we go. Combine the ribbons. You gotta do it with your hands. What is wrong with an item box lid? Is it a lid even? OCD on the floor. Look at all the shells I got. No, don't check him. Don't check him. 42. Oh my god. I. 
I think I think it's a clue. Plant 42, shells 42. Holy shit, where is Beery? When you need him the most. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, another lo nice lullaby for you, senpai. Forty-two is the only answer. Oh boy, these doors. Through the door, to the darkness. You gotta go back because you didn't bring the harness. Was the harness? Would that? Yeah, that would help. Sure. It rhymes. Just go with it. <laughs> Ah, this, this part here. You have it. You're holding it. You're literally holding just... Ah, oh, there you go. She disappeared for a second. Run, Jill, run through the door. Okay, I, I, I stopped fearing it will freeze. I'm well, not gonna find out tonight anyway. I feel this is going slower than the biohazard version. Because in that one, in three and a half hours, we were already at the lab. Zen. <laughs> Yeah, you need the bottle. There's, it's right there, Jill. There you go. Oh, look at the dithering bottle. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, it's transparent. Just if you if you close our, your eyes, it'll be transparent. I promise. Also, you never lose bottles in this, uh, like in OG. Once you finish the puzzle, right? I remember the first five times, maybe ten, I played this as a kid. I never did this. I mean, I I did it. I just didn't get, you know. I would walk in to Plant Forty Two first, and you know, when you're when you're Jill, Barry saves you, so it's kind of easier. So water, red, purple, green. Water, red, purple, green. Rippage. So water red makes purple, purple green makes seven. Okay. Oh god, that's just weird. <laughs> it just looks weird. So water red makes purple. Then we gotta make green. How is green made? Or is it green is green on one of the shelves already? Yeah, okay, there we go. And then purple and green make seven. You got seven, alright. <laughs> Where was the formula? Here, on this wall.
then red and green for six. Wait, red's here, right? Yeah. Red. And green. Give me the green. So the red and green. That makes yellow. Yellow number six. Then read the formula, don't fuck up. Okay, then those two make 13 and then add another another three on that. Okay. And then add another three. So two. And one. <laughs> Just like lap trip. Just follow the sound of my soothing voice. Two and one, and then that with this, and we get vigil. There you go. I didn't poison myself. I win. There's no balcony in the OG, right? In the Plan 42 room. You just get the ground floor, if I remember it well. Right? I think so. We'll find out in a minute. If you think about it, this game uses one, two, just three buttons. Run, action, and aim. That's all. Like, it, if it were made for the SNES or the Mega Drive, it would work. You know, provided they could have handled it. Oh, that's how you stack the... Thanks, Wesker. Wesker fixed that for me. You stack him on the left, not on the right. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Thanks, sis. Don't fall down, controller. I think you can hear my joints popping. Oh, that feels good. It's okay, kitty. She's decided it's time to sleep on me. Jill, go through the door. Let's poison us a plant. She's eluding it, or does it smell? It's withered. Okay. Anything in the box now? No. What was this? Was this like a dining room? What's the point of this room? Interrogation room?
What was an imitation of a cat? Oh, we got another ray chopper landing. I don't know if it's audible though. I think I see now what's going on. I'm beginning to realize what's going on. Did you guys hear that? Thanks for the raid, Najuni. How are you? Hi, Gavin. Gavin. What's up? Welcome, raiders. Welcome to RE1 Saturn on an actual Saturn. Uh... You heard it? Okay. It's not showing here. I'm a little confused, but we'll go. F we'll go with it for now. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, resistance. What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I do. Um, I stream retro games mostly on genuine hardware. Well, mostly, always, no emulation. We're playing Resident Evil One for the Sega Saturn. We're about to fight Plant Forty Two. I want to say Forty Five. That's it. I just all I need. We poisoned it. Let's go in. The scary door. I don't know what was the meow that I, I didn't make any sound, so definitely not. <laughs> ah! Oh yeah, it can drip shit. I was like, it's not the remake, so I can't climb up. But I can still burn it. Just avoid the poison. Oh <gasps> shit! There's no auto aim. You know, I sh maybe I should have listened to David and saved. Oh jeez! If I fuck it up, that's okay. We'll just restart in the next se session. Okay, miss number two. Oh god! I fucked this up badly. I'm gonna die. Am I? Yeah, I'm gonna die. I shouldn't have messed like that. Danger again? Yeah, that's it. Wasted three flame rounds. Oh, the man told me save, but I was like, no, I don't want to save.
Last one. There we go. Oh, gee, just one was enough. Oh, I can't believe I may, I've survived that. Oh, so many wasted rounds. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's all good. I forgot there's no auto aim. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh, that could have that could have been so painful. What was the last save before yawn? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I will I will save now. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I think one more slap she would have gone to danger again. <laughs> uh, well thanks a lot, sister. Now we now we know your secret plans. It all it's all starting to make sense now. <laughs> I will, I will. I'm going to save now. I will. <laughs> that was scary. I, I will admit that was scary. Like the moment I fired the first... <laughs> it was. It was a butt-clenching moment. <laughs> The moment I fired the first grenade round, I was like, oh, there's no auto aim here. I'm gonna get so fucked. Because the perspective is really hard to see. So you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared. Where on earth have you been? I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Why are they so quiet all of a sudden? It's good to see you're safe. Yeah, they, they are quieter. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, What's wrong with the music? Right. And someone's randomly blowing into a pan flute. Now there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. Speak up, Wesker. I can't hear you, man. And see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Damn. I I'm, I think I should have died because in my head right now. Wait, let me stomp stomp on the hornet. In my head right now, all I th all I'm thinking is, man, you just shot five flame rounds into the wall. It didn't even burn the house. Like if you at least burned the house, it would have made sense. But as it is, it was just like. God in the ether. That's okay. What the body language, the 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 smooth <laughs> bandmaster <laughs> movements. Here we go, I'm saving. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> what I will bring, because I know what awaits me next, is... One of these. They can't decapitate... No, one of these. They can't decapitate you, I think. Well, before you're in uh, caution, so... There you go. Fact thing. <laughs> the, you know, they couldn't animate them, like, actually moving the lips and everything. So... So that's why they keep flailing their arms around. Update. Oh, that's different. Yeah. I see why uh, all this all this is new to me, David. Because when we played Biohazard, everything was in Japanese, so I didn't understand. I was just playing from memory. It didn't say update. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, folks. Enough for tonight. I'm getting tired. It's 10 p.m. and I work in the morning. Yeah, like the running Phoebe. I know. <laughs> so we're gonna finish this in a day or two. Tomorrow we should finish eternal darkness but let's see who we can raid this was a it was a great session but ip switch in two minutes anyway so it's the best time 
Thank you. Let's see if someone's streaming a, a Resident Evil game. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Doc's there. He's doing Cold Veronica. Yeah, he did say he'll play it on uh, on Monday. Say hi to Doctor Best. He's a really cool Bye. Ari streamer. I think that's all he does, Ari. So yeah, that's all from me for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for all the love. I'll see you tomorrow in Eternal Darkness, and stay well until then. Bye, <laughs> or bye. <laughs>